What up everyone, I am Gallon Havoc, and you're probably wondering, who is this schmuck on your screen? Well, after six videos of reviewing, reacting, and analyzing, I figured it's about time I, uh, I retired. So this is my farewell video. What? What the fuck? I'm kidding. No, after said videos, I figured it was high time I gave you some uh, insight onto who I am. So let's delve into the deep, dark bowels of the mind that is Gallant Havoc. As you've probably gathered, I'm a gamer, and I'm a huge nerd to boot. I've been playing video games for almost my entire life. I started with the N64, the best console ever made, and stuck mainly to Nintendo games. It wasn't just my fault, it was really what was only in the house at the time. And honestly, Nintendo's never really let me down. Sure, they've had some marketing mishaps along the way, but it was them who were responsible for so many good memories. Super Mario 64 was my first game, then Donkey Kong 64, and then the legend that would come to be known as Ocarina of Time, which, as I've said before, is my favorite game of all time. As the impressionable little kid that I was, Nintendo was all I really cared for for a while. So I apologize if I've offended any of you PlayStation and Xbox kids, ooh, that's just me. I only dabbled in PlayStation with uh, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, uh, and those old school Disney games that came out during the, uh, the PS1. And I only played the PS2 when I was at my friends. It wasn't until I was about 12 that I started playing the Xbox with games like Halo and Fable. Then the next thing I know, everyone around me is getting Xbox 360s and PS3s, and I was stuck with my N64 and GameCube, and eventually the Wii. Once again, I had to go to my friends' houses to play the uh, more modern games like Halo and Call of Duty, Halo for the win. But like I said, Nintendo was my constant foundation. But when my horizons with the consoles I own expanded, boy was I ever hooked. Now I play pretty much everything there is, except for sports games. I never liked them much. Except for maybe WWE and uh, racing games. If I want to play sports, I'll go play sports. So when people ask me now, am I Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, or PC, I say all of them, because the console wars are bullshit. Bullshit. bullshit! In the bullshit department? If I were to rank my favorite games, they would go Zelda, Metal Gear, Halo, Resident Evil, Darksiders, Mortal Kombat, and Soul Calibur. A little bit of variety. Because variety is the spice of life. Speaking of which, movies. Now, I'm not a professional critic by any means, but I like to think I'm quite the movie buff, especially when it comes to classics. My favorite movies of all time, The Crow, followed very closely by Terminator 2 Judgment Day, which I have on VHS no less. I may be young, but I'm old fashioned. I'm also a big Star Wars fan, a big Bond fan, and a big Marvel fan. Even though the characters we got currently aren't really ones I care about. Give us the new X-Men, please. Although Hugh Jackman was the best Wolverine. Enough said. Whether I do full-blown movie reviews on YouTube, I don't know. But for now, you can find a few movie reviews that I have done on Stardust. So speaking of movies, let's talk TV. Now, I'm not the biggest TV watcher anymore. Most of the stuff I watch is either no longer available on cable, uh, on Netflix, or I have to buy on Blu-ray and DVD. Some favorites of mine include Game of Thrones, despite how it ended. Why do you think I came all this way? Bullshit. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Vindication! The Marvel Netflix shows, especially Daredevil and Punisher, Lucifer, and law cartoons like Family Guy. Yeah, yeah, he said it! He said it! The Simpsons, Looney Tunes, the old DC cartoons, stuff like that. Now, anime? Love it. Now, I'm not the biggest anime nut, per se. I don't obsess over it too, too much. Or rather, I try not. Dragon Ball Z, Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Sailor Moon, and yes, even Pokemon, were my introductions to the spectacle. But then I discovered Naruto, Fullmetal Alchemist, Ghost in the Shell, Death Note, uh, the, the Sword Art Online. Yes, I like Haseya. Shoot me. And my personal favorite, Hellsing Ultimate. 
Hell, even more obscure titles like Witchblade, Drifters, and Claymore caught my attention. Just don't ask me about One Punch Man, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, One Piece, I, My Hero Academia, or Attack on Titan, because I feel like they ran back into the ground. Hard. I'm simply not interested in those. I do take recommendations, though. Do with that as well. Now we come to probably my most picky of subjects. Music. Hey, I'm gonna take my horse to no! No! Never again! Now first and foremost, I'm a metalhead. I grew up with classic rock, mostly Bon Jovi, Ace and Easy, Guns N' Roses. But upon reaching adolescence, I was introduced to the god of metal, the Prince of Darkness himself, Ozzy Osbourne. Well, it's about fucking time! And from then on, I was going off the rails on a crazy train on a highway to hell straight to Nirvana. It was then that I started getting into the more darker stuff, like Korn, uh, Limp Bizkit, uh, Godsmack. Then in high school, it started to branch even more, like uh, Papa Roach, Slipknot, even some rap like Eminem, Tech 9 Hobson. Tech 9 being my favorite rapper of all time. No one's taking that from me. And I reach adulthood. And in college, I'm introduced to Tool, Animals as Leaders, Ramstein, and a lot of more obscure stuff as well. Metal and rap are my favorites, but I like an assortment of jazz, pop, uh, rock, blues. Fucking beautiful music, man. Even some country? Some. Some country. I even dabble in making some music myself with my bass guitar and on my computer. I'm average. Below average. So with that out of the way, let's talk art. I've pretty much been drawing since I could hold a crayon. Some influence from my uncle may have helped. Titan McDougal, who is also some of my inspiration for doing a YouTube gig, I think. Be sure to check his channel out, he does reviews himself. And believe me, they're great. So I mainly draw both traditionally and uh, digitally. And mostly in my own style, which has been described as semi-anime. But I can be flexible as well. My biggest influences are Mark Silvestri, Yoji Shinkawa, James Obar, Frank Miller, and Tom McFarlane. I did go to college for art, but I ultimately didn't graduate. On my own terms, of course. I saw the course to the end, for the most part. But I felt it just wasn't what I wanted. When it comes to art, I want to do my own thing on my own time. When I do commissions, I don't promise a specific time frame. Can't put a clock on perfection, that's what I always say. As long as it's done within a week or two, I'm happy. All depends on what I'm doing. That being said, it's always been my dream to make comic books. Not to the grandiose scale of Marvel and DC. More like the subtle uh, companies like Image and Top Cow. Dark Horse. I grew up reading comic books, which to this day are probably my favorite form of media. X-Men, Spider-Man, Ghost Rider, and Batman were probably my go-tos back in the day. But when I got older, I discovered Witchblade, The Darkness, uh, Spawn, and my all-time favorite, The Crow. I even read the Bone Books as a kid. You remember that shit? Ugh. So good. Bone! Then there's manga. 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 How do you even pronounce that? Seriously. I love the Zelda manga adaptations, and the Full Metal Alchemist manga was really what jump started my desire to make comics. If you want to see some of my own work, you can check out my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter pages. I'll leave links for those in the description box. Maybe even DeviantArt in the future, but. We know what kind of a place DeviantArt is. It's not for the faint of heart. It's still not Tumblr. Trust me, there's more coming. I guarantee you. I'm also an author of sorts. I have nothing published so far, but I do have a huge project in the works. Which I'm also planning on turning into a comic book, like I said before. Trust me, I mean it's huge. And again, it will be included in my content sometime in the future. Think of it like a sort of modern day fantasy, sci-fi, action, thriller, drama, horror, crime, mystery thing. It's complicated to explain, but please, stay tuned. So I think that just about wraps up everything for this video. 
I hope you guys enjoy my content and will stick around with me on this journey. I am really looking forward to showing you more, and it will come soon, real soon. So thanks for watching, I am Gal Havoc, and I'll see you all later. Hello. Yeah, I just wrapped up the video. What do you mean I forgot something? You just sent... You just sent... What? Okay, hang on, let me look. Son of a...